So what went on in Greece this week? Well, no big deal. Just a Nazi party rally outside of parliament. Nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> Just a bunch of Nazis. Just some Nazis. Isn't that scary? There were about 1,000 supporters of the ultra-right-wing fascist Golden Dawn Party that were protesting the pre-trial detention of their leader, Nikolaus Mihaloliokos, and he's up on charges of forming a criminal organization. And this all started back in September when authorities began to crack down on the Golden Dawn Party because they murdered an anti-fascist rapper. Now these guys, this is the part that really gets me every time. This fact sends a chill down my spine every time I read it. These guys have actually gotten 18 lawmakers in parliament. 18 Golden Dawn people got elected. Isn't that amazing? Uh, now, as of today, 13 of them are in pretrial detention as well, and they are charged with crimes. But look, it's definitely good news that they were able to get the party on actual crimes and not just thought crimes, because now it's 100% legitimate to treat them like the fringe lunatic cult that they are, because they got them on, you know, riot charges, the murder charges I was talking about with the anti-fascist rapper. And uh, so they have a legitimate reason to throw a lot of them behind bars and treat them like what they should be treated as. And understand something, man, this is the equivalent of if the neo-Nazi party in the U.S. won a couple seats from Mississippi and Louisiana. I mean, could you imagine that? Oh, look, look at Congress. We have Nancy Pelosi over there. We got Mitch McConnell. And wow, a guy with a swastika tattoo on his forehead. Yeah, that would not be acceptable. We would think this is scary and we should do something about it. So uh, thank goodness they're cracking down finally on the Golden Dawn Party because there were reports that cops had infiltrated uh, the movement and they were on their side. So there were people in the police department that didn't crack down on Golden Dawn because they're sympathetic to their movement. Uh, but it seems like things are finally turning. But what I'm also concerned about is that, I mean, the root of the problem is still there, man. The root of the problem in Greece is the economy. The fact that the IMF and the central bank, they've been doing austerity for so long, and the unemployment rate is 24% in Greece. Okay, that's Great Depression levels, right? From when we were in the Great Depression back in the 1930s. That's not okay. And the problem is that's where the extremism comes from. It doesn't come out of nowhere. It only... Uh, arises in history when people lose all hope. And you lose hope when the establishment and the status quo just gives up and doesn't care and doesn't actually try to make a better life for their citizens. So they turn anywhere for answers. And anybody who's a charismatic leader at that time rises up in power. Look at what happened with Hitler. It was the same thing with him. Came out of Weimar, Germany, where there was ridiculous runaway inflation and political instability, and they were still paying back from World War I, and then here this guy came along, he said, I'll fix everything, and oh yeah, it's not your fault, you good, great Germans, it's the fault of these damn Jews. And we know what happened there. Same sort of scapegoating of immigrants going on in Greece right now. It, it's, it's unacceptable, but you gotta fix the root problem, man. You gotta uh, have Greece go in the right direction, uh, economically, which will also dissipate these movements, and the way to do that is through stimulus and good fiscal policy and not this austerity garbage.